Hey there, Pokito here. Welcome to a new type of video, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I will be giving you a little background into my military career, a couple fun stories there, and I'll be answering your questions from a previous video on things you wanted me to talk about. All right, so without further ado, let's get into some of the comments. And don't forget, guys, when I mentioned to comment, it actually is because you can get featured in the next video, and I love reading them. I love interacting with you guys. So let's do this. Kippa jumping in with the comment saying, you should talk about about why you started playing League and why you didn't quit yet. Technically, I kind of have. I mean, I've been trying to play a lot of ranked games, but God, it's it put me in gold, and I can't get out of gold, and I just don't want to play it, so I'm just playing for fun. <laughs> DK7575 asking how I met the current people I play with. I work for a PR company and a YouTube network, so I know a lot of YouTubers and have over the years built relationships with certain ones through I've met through others or maybe at PAX conventions. I would suggest highly going to these events just to meet the people and you possibly could find the people that you're friends with. I don't know. You know, it's a me, a Mario and Luigi, you know, friends for now. I think I'm saying this right. Life Nicolo wants me to talk about how my wife and I met, but use code names. When a Kiwi and a banana love each other very much, they meet at Civil War reenactments and use their mom's money to buy ice cream for said Kiwi. <laughs> Nerds. Taterator wants me to talk about the future of this channel. Well, my plans are to slowly incorporate other video game footage into this because I have a lot of things. I have something from Age of Empires saved that I fucked over my friend and I think it was fascinating and hilarious and I want to share it with you, but I have to make sure that you want to be shared with my friends. Shared. And then we have 90% of you that would like me to talk about sex, butts, dicks, or ass. When I'd rather sit in the grass watching my life fly past. Uh, in a flash. Ass. So I have a couple military stories. Today's story is going to be one of the first ones that I ever went through, and that's at boot camp. And boot camp is a very weird place, guys. You have to become so close to people that you just met, and even after you realize you don't like someone, you are still that close. I saw so many penises of men that I hated, but there was no running away from them. You are stuck in a room, a tiny room, with a hundred other guys every day, every hour. I can say if you don't want to see penis, you probably should not join any branch of the military. I don't want to hear this. Navy, ma Ar Army is not game. Navy likes dick. They all see the dick. They all see it. So once you've been at boot camp for a little bit, they start giving you jobs like uh, mail clerk or squad leader, which I was until I got caught sleeping. Like I, I found the perfect, there's a thing called a fishbowl. It's where they can see everything. And I, I thought that I was safe behind a pole and he came up there and he's like, you've lost the best thing in your life. And I was like, no, you wake up super early, dress, eat, study, and then work out more. They do not let you sleep. Anyways, I had been telling my friends at home to put a stick of gum inside each individual letter that they send me. And this is a little bit of a advice for you. You know, you can get free gum. I thought I was a rebel and a badass. I guess my mom thought the same thing, that she could handle whatever she was throwing at me. So I ended up getting a box in the mail, right? And it was a big box. And I was like, oh, sh I don't, you, the mail clerk was like, I don't know what to do here because I'm supposed to give it to you, but, you know, I can't give you this. You're supposed to get letters. Anyways, we snuck it in there and we ate the cookies late at night. We were like, <gasps> it was like the best cookie we've ever had because it was rebellious. We were on our own for the first time, well, me at least. And I was eating cookies in the bathroom because my boss couldn't see me. Woo Boot camp is boring a lot of the time. I collected lint, for God's sakes. And that's that's a, that, that, that's another story. I mean, th th you have a lot of time. We we basically, when we went to church, we got the um, communion cards, or like the, uh, the prayer cards, and we got 52 of them and made a deck. Those got confiscated, but that's okay. So basically, this mail clerk and I, right, getting back to the main story, we were buddy-buddy, and we, we, you know, I, we had stuck a couple things in. Okay. After a while, after we snuck those cookies in, we were like, good, now we can go back to it. We did our duty. Uh, you know, we, we, we snuck things in. We should be proud of ourselves. But my mom had it in her mind that she should send me another box. I never actually saw the box. The mail guy told me about it. I swear to God, if you've ever seen what DX Racer chairs come in or any type of chair, that was the size of the box. She, he, had t he told me there was about a pound of cookies, <laughs> another pound of jerky, and an ungodly amount of porn. 
She didn't just send, like, magazines. She sent postcards, DVDs. She sent me VHS. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with VHS. Uh, there's, there's nothing that plays that for, like, 20 years. Mom, get with the times. I guess she just wanted to cover all avenues. And honestly, it's not like I would do anything with that anyway. Th there was no stall doors or anything. No privacy. Like, I so I'm not going to go out there and just be like, Yeah, let's go to town. Watch me do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it. If you would like to see more of these, please thumbs up and comment down below that you enjoyed it, along with more things you would like me to talk about in the future. I think I'm going to continue to add the storyline in with the comments that you wanted me to talk about. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Have a fantastic day. Deuces!